The folks at BuyEasy were kind enough to send me this HDMI video capture device to try out. I'll be unboxing it and checking it out with several HDMI sources that's coming up on Thrifty AV. Before I get into this box, let's look at the outside of the box. The brand name is By Easy. Easy do it, it says. HD video capture. Accumulated production of 50 million electronic products. 12 month warranty. Excellent customer service. Supports maximum input resolution of 3840 by 2160 at 30 hertz. So this will accept a 4K signal. It will not output it though. The maximum output resolution is 1920 by 1080, 30 hertz. 8, 10, or 12 bit color depth. Uh, input transmission distance up to 15 meters. None of my HDMI cables are that long. Supports most collection software such as VLC, OBS, which I'll be trying it out with, AMCAP, etc. I'll also be trying it with the Windows uh, camera app. Supports Windows, Android, and Mac OS. I'll be using it with Windows. All right, I have actually broken the seal on this already. I did it during my delivered deal segment. So the seal's already been broken, but I haven't really gotten into this. Here is the actual device. This is a lot bigger and a lot heavier than the other HDMI capture device that I uh, reviewed. And this is an aluminum case, that is metal. There's the USB output. Uh, DC 5 volts barrel jack instead of a uh, micro USB and input and output on the HDMI and here's the power cable that converts uh, from USB to a barrel jack and here is a standard uh, USB cable for transferring data this card is for customer appreciation and feedback here is the user manual Looks like uh, the first few pages are the English version of the user manual. Because this lacks an actual power adapter, you'll either need to plug this into your computer's 5 volt USB or provide your own uh, 5 volt power adapter like this one. I'm going to be using this external 5 volt power adapter that came with one of my tablets. And it simply plugs into the uh, barrel plug there. There is no lights on this indicating that it is powered up, but it should be recognized when I plug it into the computer. When I plugged it into my Windows 10 computer, the device was recognized, but my computer wanted to do a reboot. I don't know if it's because this device driver requires a reboot or because my Windows needed to do an update. But in either case, I rebooted my computer. Well, October's obviously here. Windows rebooted with the Halloween theme. The first device I want to test this with is this Chromebook. I have the HDMI output plugged into the HDMI input here. I'm outputting to my larger display over here where you normally see my Thrifty AV logo. I have it plugged into this USB 2 port on my Ryzen 3 2200G machine. I'm running OBS Studios and I am now recording my screen and I'll just launch, uh, I'll launch one of my videos. My video is now playing full screen on my Chromebook and of course looping through and outputting onto this big monitor. You'll notice a slight delay between the OBS Studio recording and the big monitor, but it is not much of a delay. It's, it's a very slight delay. My Chromebook is outputting 1080p and OBS Studios is capturing at 1080p. Okay, now I'm using the camera app software that comes with Windows 10 instead of OBS to record this clip. Again, this is in 1080p. One device that can enhance a brush's ability to pick up dust is a Zero-Stat gun. The next device I want to try out is this Lumix FZ300. This camera is outputting 4K, but the BuyEasy capture device is outputting 1080p. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little recording 
with this Panasonic FC300 through the BiEasy capture device. Right now I'm using my Lumix FZ300 pretty much as a webcam. I'm not actually recording on the Lumix. I have the output, the 4K output of it, hooked up to the BiEasy capture device, which is outputting 1080p into my computer over here. And it's also outputting to the screen over here because it does have the video output port. That comes in very handy when you want to monitor what you're recording. So this is what it looks like, this is what it sounds like. Oh, and I'm using the Windows Cam software to record this. I don't have a PlayStation, I don't have an Xbox, but I have several game systems with HDMI output, including this Activision Flashback Blast. Now I haven't even opened this thing up, but there's a reason I want to try this one out, and it's because it outputs 1080i. I want to see how this capture device deals with a 1080i signal. So let's get into this. Quick unboxing, breaking the seal. Sticker, some literature, the HDMI dongle, and the controller runs on AAA batteries and USB power. Okay, I'm switching to HDMI 1. All right, it says HDMI 1 1080i at 60 hertz. So it is maintaining the native resolution of this 1080i in the loop through. Here's where having a loop through output becomes very important because I can play my game on my big screen here while I'm recording on the computer. The computer is going to have a slight delay, a little bit of lag but I'll be able to play pretty well using this monitor over here. Okay, I'm recording. Pitfall sounds good to me. So let's hit start. I forgot how to deal with the alligators, I guess. I'm being kind of slow about this. I got past alligators finally. Uh, this Atari Flashback Blast is working. The next device I want to try out is my Roku Ultra. Now I am forcing a 4K signal into the BiEasy HDMI capture device and this device is down converting it to 1080p for my TV set and of course for my capture device. So. I'm going to be playing back in 4K on my Roku Ultra and see how well it captures it at 1080p using the BiEasy. I'll be capturing less than 8 seconds of Mike Judge Presents Tales <laughs> from the Tour Bus Season 2. Boosie and his brother Catfish, we've been playing together since we were kids. That was copyrighted content and it down converted that 4K footage and recorded it in 1080p just fine. Now I want to try forcing some other resolutions and frame rates and see what all this thing can handle coming out of the Roku. When I forced 4K 60 it was able to down convert that to 1080p successfully. 4K 30 HDR glitched for a second, but also worked. The only resolution that I could not successfully down convert was 4K 60 HDR. I got a snowy screen that would not clear up. So the BiEasy HD video capture device captured 1080p video off of my Chromebook just fine. It was able to capture down converted 4K video off of my Lumix camera. There was an audio issue when I was using the Activision Atari Flashback Blast, uh, but it was able to do 1080i conversion into 1080p and capture that. And uh, it was able to capture resolutions that it doesn't even say it supports, such as uh, 4K60, uh, and that was a pleasant surprise. 
Now, uh, this Buy Easy, I have an Amazon affiliate link in the description if you're interested in purchasing one of these. Of course, Amazon affiliate links help this channel out a little bit. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel, and remember, stay thrifty, everyone.